Trash piles. This is our sorted items here. Crap over there. Just some money there. We'll see what happens. All right, cool video. Well, there you are. That's the um, <laughs> mainly the operation of the the uh, recycling dumpster guy. So I put in, uh, I put in three hours. We got, I paid 20 bucks. I put in three hours of work and paid 20. So, I mean, but the thing, this guy's name is Dennis. So the thing with Dennis is you can't, you can't just raid on someone's operation and, expect 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 so uh, i didn't i didn't aim to do that i just went there hey i'm here again for tvs uh you know what do you got and he already started making a little pile of electronics i'm like you know what are you doing with any of this stuff he's like oh, take take it all right we'll take it so um yeah it's probably <laughs> It's probably 20 units, uh, all untested. There's uh, two computers untested. It's a decent receiver. Um, I took the receiver. And some speakers. It's something that definitely sells for a hundred in here. So, definitely in a hundred, but all in all, it was interesting. Uh, just throwing crap in a dumpster. He said he'd pay me next time too. So uh, 125 for the day. And I get to cherry pick whatever goes into the dumpster. And possibly buy whatever I want off of Dennis. Because Dennis is not... Dennis is not in the long game. He's in the burning and turning game. Scrapping and uh, just t t turnover scrapping. He's more interested in bikes, laptops, and um, missile, very odd miscellaneous electronics that even, even I would say no to. So um, I think our two spectrums are totally different of what we're trying to pull out of the unit units, whatever you want to call them. Uh, hash brown. Forgot I had a hash brown. Very nice out. Everyone's playing basketball. Now we're going to the 
antique store. I'm gonna go square, square up with Rick. You know, square up with Rick. Rick. Rick owns the antique store. And uh, I owe him 250 for some of the trucks we bought, so I'm gonna square up and try and buy more trucks. That's the goal right now. See how it goes. I know he has a dyno in the basement. I'm gonna try and make an offer on all the trucks that he has left in the dyno in the basement. Let's go. Come on. I might not take you in there, but I'll bring you back for what happens. Alright, here we go. Go video. Here we are. We went to the uh, recycling extravaganza and this is what we uh, got out of it. So we got this Sony receiver here. And we got a little Pioneer action. Let's get the CD changer thing. We got this Sony DVD combo. Another Sony receiver. A Sony tape deck. We got a Sony 300 disc changer. Two of these bows, 301 V's. This was kind of cool. Um, this box full of stuff here, and we get this GE radio here. And we're gonna open storage and start to put that in there, and then I'll show you the rest. So let me start to do that, and then uh, we'll be right back and talk about it. So this is the spot where we will stack them. And we'll get to the same height as these ones and pinch it in there with the, all these other ones that I have not gone through. Yeah, there's like 40 of them there. So yeah, we'll put, we'll just keep going. We'll keep going. We'll stack it out however, however big it's gonna be. Because um, we're, we're gonna keep, go into this event and then we'll just I mean we'll get more than we can even process anyway so yeah let's do it all right let me get these both are Sony's two Sony uh, CD this one says DVD uh, 400 so that's kind of cool that might be interesting these other units, a Sanyo forehead, forehead, nice forehead, um, DVD combo, a Yamaha, XR496, a Yamaha CDC585, a Denon CD something, CD DVD, a CD DVD29, one zero. So you get all those. Um, this box here. And that, Let's do that real quick. This PC. I paid up for these two basically. I paid ten each. Well, mainly twenty for this one and free for that one. Um, got this gaming something here. It's a Dell. THX Studio, True Studio, PC, Windows 7, yada yada. And, uh, let's get pots in there and all that good stuff. I got the side panel here. But pretty heavy duty. It's Studio XPS. I think that could do 100 at least. This Magnesite Explorer, um, that does 100, so that's pretty cool. Another DVD VCR combo, Emerson, Emerson, Lincoln Palmer, and a box full of stuff. I'll try and pull that out, and a boombox. 
This thing, whatever the hell this is, this is a pavilion desktop with Windows 10. Uh, you can no clue on that one. 10 bucks, maybe. Uh, we got an empty box for the cord. Scrapadooski. Scrapadoodle. We got this thing, which I'm gonna take this home. Shovel. I think we can get 10 on that uh, like in the later later months. <clears throat> Stuff's jammed. I'm gonna end up putting this out in the yard. This little yard ornament uh, lawnmower here. Got that for free the other day. I'll try and get this out. This thing's heavy. I'm gonna grab that spoon box. All right, I probably showed you a million Sony products. Here we go, a Sony uh, CFD 440 in pretty darn good shape. A Sony, mm -hmm, it's a surround sound Sony something, uh, STR D790. I like actually saying the numbers because it will give me a reference for later. Again, this is this pretty sweet GE radio. It's pretty nice. That's a keeper for show. Um, this Mohu Outdoor and Attic Amplifier HD TV antenna. Yeah, it might all be there. There's a parts here and parts here. There's two of these uh, direct TVs, which were kind of in this bundle. There's this uh, alarm clock. Looks all right, kind of interesting. This piece of junk, Craig, probably like $2. In this box is about 10 to 20 controllers, a, uh, di a direct a Apple TV, it's an Apple TV, no plug, I don't think the plug was in here, there was a uh, XM radio, uh, I have no clue, parts, this little power adapter, it's a wire, a bunch of different remotes, Two decent TVs, this uh, Klipsch speaker, some paperwork, a bunch more remotes, that one might be decent, the Denon RC969, some multiples of, uh, and some of these remotes might go to some of the stuff I have. It's an old Motorola phone. Slide phone. Huh. That's kind of cool. Flyers. Uh, old mouses. Not the oldest, but I grabbed whatever I could. Um, some different um, chargers for laptops, some chargers for uh, gaming consoles. We have uh, an iPad, iPod, it's another i something, and some more wires. Decent little lot of wires here, because probably 50 bucks right there, so not bad. Not bad. Shove all this in here into one lot right now because got no time for none of this. That's how we roll. Then we got this Epson thing. It's probably the only um, printer that I saved because it was light. 
It's not really a printer either. It's a scanner, right? Epson Perfection V33. I threw a ton of this stuff away. Yeah, I could have I could have took home a nice printer too, uh, Tommy. Could have took home a nice printer. Threw about 40 of them in the dumpster. But Eh, maybe next time. Maybe I'll grab one next time. I actually probably should have grabbed the printer. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's all I got. And then this thing. It's like aluminum. I figured it was worth something. That's it. Like, subscribe, uh, comment share uh tell a friend phone a friend call a friend shout out to a friend Peace. Later. all right there it is all tucked in i don't think i showed you this other sony <laughs> another freaking sony so many sony's oh yeah check out this weird sony sony five disc changer uh DAV FX10 theater something yeah TV there that's not from this hall that's from the other hall that I just did I didn't show you guys yet and then these realistic speakers yes but yeah let's go to the end All right, here we are at Rick, Rick's shop. We're taking all the trucks with us. All these trucks. These trucks. All these trucks. All these trucks. All these trucks. truck that's what I got <laughs> nice all right go video here we are outside of the eBay store we are outside of the eBay store so we just got back uh, let's go go video here's the hall here we go all right so 2000 on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine totes of steel, steel trucks. So, um, it's nothing really popping out to me in this pile. That is a dope key model toy fire engine, though, right there. So, that might do a hundred to two. Uh, just tin type is pretty cool and this Michigan crane is pretty cool definitely do something in there there's a another couple other truck stuff down in there actually there's two uh, dope key uh, load graders at the bottom this is a Mac uh, Les Paul type truck I'm going to need some more confirmation on if these are real or not, but uh, I don't know who to bring those to. Just had Matt do a little number crunching for me on those. Uh, we have some other fire truck, pressed steel, heavy duty. Uh, there's another part to a fire engine. Some more fire engines. This bigger fire engine does like 300. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this goes to. Maybe the end of this thing right here. I'll have to match up some of these. But some other vehicles. Some other vehicles. This thing is a heel. That's a model 
toys. Doki. It's probably pretty good. It's probably a hundred. These other uh, model type fire engines. This load trailer I think does pretty good. Uh, there's another couple other nice press steel vehicles in here. And this this loader does pretty good, does like a hundred. We have these decanter trucks. Did I say that right? Decanter? Decanter? Anyway, these are all decanters, these six. So we got the, we have the, like a Studebaker, we got the tow truck, we get the heavy duty fire truck, the regular uh, pump truck, we got the water truck, and the uh, police chief's car. This is a Barbara Green. It's a dope key. There's a Tonka. So all this isn't Tonka. Most of this is dope key, which is so. Eh, I don't know if it's better than Tonka, but it's comparable. Very comparable. Here's the Mack truck that I had a uh, Mack crunch out for us. So. It says Mac on the side. It's branded Kelmet. Kelmet. But it also has this uh, Les Paul collector thing on the side. I don't know if this is old. It looks possibly repopped because it's just so freaking clean. So I don't know about that one. It's a gray area. It's at least a hundred though. It's big. And there's two of those in that tote. A gray one. <laughs> so Matt says uh, 2000 paid for everything is the uh, greatest deal ever or somebody got scammed. So I don't know who got scammed. Either I got scammed or my uncle got scammed. So... Um, but if I do good, Rick will, he won't expect a kickback, but I will give him a kickback. It's a nice truck right there. It's got the Mac uh, dog on the front. That's pretty cool. That's a good photo truck. Uh, here's a loader that we already sold. Sold one of those loaders for 100 this one's not nearly as good as condition as the one that was sold, but some other loader parts. Some other parts down here. This is the truck that Rick wants me to keep him posted on. This is a very old, very old truck. This is definitely 20s, 30s, with the wood wheels, but pretty cool, nice freaking truck. Yeah, Matt says that truck looks too good to be 100 years old. I agree, it's definitely <laughs> way too clean looking to be. Uh, a hundred years old. Unless if it sat in the guy's house the whole time and he never played with it. Um, uh, the condition is variable, so... I mean, he took care of the fire trucks. Uh, all these fire trucks are, you know, well cared for. I mean, he could have had that particular one on the shelf, I guess possible plausible and possible so that's what i got i'll bring in for one more item i'll try to yeah, let me pause and i'll dig it out and i'll show it to you